You know, I have gotten at least three or four emails this week about people who want to kill themselves. You wanting to kill yourself. Mm -mm. No, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. People want to kill themselves, one, because of relationship, oh, we're going to talk about that one. Two, because they feel like they are not loved, oh, we're going to talk about that one too. And three, that you don't feel like you fit in, I'm too ugly, I'm too fat, I'm, too, I'm not rich enough, I'm, I'm stupid, no one likes me, all this stuff. But let's start with the number one reason, relationships. You want to kill yourself because this boy or because this girl is gone or because you think they don't love you anymore or because they don't love you anymore? So what? Let them go. You know, I've learned that when people leave your life, even though it hurts and even though it sucks, later, later you'll think, like, thank God they left. I was so stupid. I was so blind. And right now, all you can feel is your emotions and, and how much you love them, how much you care about them, and you feel that there's no way that you can live anymore. But let me tell you, you can. And you will. Let them go. And you think, oh, if I kill myself, I'll hurt them. You kill, their, you kill yourself, you're not going to hurt them. They're going to be like, thank God I left them. He or she was crazy. Only if I knew, only if I knew, only if I knew. The only person you're hurting is yourself, and that's a big hurt. Because everything that's in your future that you could have, that you could achieve, that person that's supposed to be in your life will never receive you. Because you are gone. You're gone. I, 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 there was a girl who jumped off a bridge recently. I know a guy who went to his car and, uh, and, and killed himself in his car with a girl, 16 years old. She's still living. She's probably had about three or four boyfriends since then. No, 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 no. The right love will come at the right time. I know it sucks to wait. Trust me, I know. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. <laughs> but he or she will come and will see your heart and love it with passion. And you'll be so glad that you lived. And so will your family and all your friends who love you so much. Mm -mm. Don't do it. I want to kill myself because I feel like I am in love. There's no one in this world who loves me. Well, that's a lie. The real answer is the people you want to love you don't love you. I'm sure that your parents love you, even though they're sometimes they're really freaked up and messed up. They love you. There's some friends out there who love you. You are loved. And a lot of times we don't really see this love that's around us because we're looking at all these other places to try to find this love and we don't see that there's love right in front of us that we can take, that we can receive, that we can use to nurture off and to grow. I don't want my, gran my grandma's love. I mean, it's my grandma, it's my grandma. She's supposed to love me. <sighs> yeah. And you know, and, 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 and just to quickly talk about grandparents. I've had a lot of um, people say to me that um, they don't want to live anymore because their grandparents died. And why, why did God take away my grandparents? I don't understand. I've heard this really a lot about grandparents dying. And I want to tell you something. You think that God is picking on you or pointing you out to take your grandmother or grandfather away from you? Let me tell you, every grandparent out there is going to die. That's reality. So God is not just choosing your, grand, your grandma. Every single grandma, the grandma across from the street from you, the grandma down the road, every grandma is going to die. So God's not being choosy to, to, to take your grandma away. Everyone's grandma and grandpa is going to be taken away. And one day, you're going to be a grandma and grandpa, and you're going to be taken away too. But at the right time, after you've lived the legacy of people that you've matured and you've loved and you've helped in your life. So sometimes your grandma, I know it hurts, grandma and grandpa, but they got to go. They lived here a long time, they did a lot of stuff, sometimes they got to be free. Don't, don't try to kill yourself. I had a boy write me this week. He wanted to kill himself because his grandma was dying. 
Now she lived a long, long life. Now it's time for you to live a long, long life too. Third reason, I don't fit in, I just don't belong. I'm not, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. You keep judging yourself of the people you do fit in. When you were created, when you were born, you became a part of this world. And, and, and if you leave this world immaturely, prematurely, this world will change. This is how important your life is. It's like a building, a house. You think that that brick is not important, or you think that that, 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 that wood is not important. But if you remove that brick, the right brick, or you remove that right wood, the whole house will fall. I'm only a brick. I'm only a piece of wood. I don't mean nothing. That's a lie. You are a part of this world. And if you leave prematurely a part of this world because you think you don't fit in, something's going to be, the world's going to be broken. People are going to be hurt. People are going to be destroyed because you took your life. And because of that, they're going to start making different decisions and different choices. And things will ripple. It will change. But not in a positive way. You're going to die. Listen to me, everybody. Listen to me right now. I'm going to get close to you right now. Listen to me. You don't have to kill yourself. You know why? Because one day you're going to die. It's going to happen. It's going to happen automatically. <laughs> when the time is right. You don't have to do it now or tomorrow over a guy or a girl or someone who died because you love so much or because you think that you're fat and you're ugly and all this stuff. Everyone thinks that they're ugly and fat and whatever. No one's perfect. You think you're the only one who thinks you're not perfect? Every single person on this planet <laughs> thinks they're not perfect. So, should everyone kill themselves? <laughs> no. You're loved. There's someone out there who loves you, and I know there's someone there who loves you very much. And don't give up on your life. Don't give up. You can make it. I know it's hard, and I know it seems like it's going to last forever. But it won't. It won't. Don't kill yourself. Mm-mm. 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 No, 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 no. You must live. Because your life, yes you, your life, is going to bless, touch, and encourage someone. And all these crazy stories that you have with your ex-boyfriends and all this crazy stuff that you've been through, one day you'll talk to someone and they'll help someone. And you yourself may save someone from killing themselves. I love you so much and I'll see you next time.